We welcome you this week to another special edition of Meet the Canvas. This week, we had the opportunity to meet all three recipients of the Salisbury Summer International Internship Stipend, as well as the donor himself, trustee Charles H. Salisbury Jr. Created by Charles Salisbury, the Salisbury Stipend provides full financial support for three students interested in pursuing an international internship experience in a location of their choice. So we hope you'll join us for this, another special edition of Meet the Campus. From Hobart and Williams Smith Colleges, this is Meet the Campus with John Heavey. This week, we'll meet with the former chair of the Board of Trustees, Charles H. Salisbury Jr. Sit down with Hobart Jr., Dan Organ, visit William Smith Jr., Lisa Philippone, and speak with our very own aspiring architect, Ben Ahern. So join me this week and every week for Meet the Campus with me, John Heavey, and the Daily Diary of the American Dream. A graduate of the class of 1963, Charles Salisbury has had a special relationship with Hobart and William Smith Colleges since the day he arrived in Geneva, New York. Today, it is one of his missions in life to give back to the place that gave him so much. Hobart was transformational for me, there's no question about it. We make it possible for three students to go um, any place in the world to pursue a career interest. I hope it's a point of differentiation for the colleges. For me, it's just another way of, of giving back to the college, which I owe so much to. I've, I'm, I must say that, frankly, I've gotten a lot more out of my affiliation with the colleges than I've given. Uh, every day has been a joy. And boy, it feels great in life to be able to say you made a difference to an institution. Hailing from Simi, California, and a starting forward on the Hobart ice hockey team, Dan Organ is an economics major and international relations minor. This summer, he will travel to Brazil to study international real estate. This is a great opportunity for me to really uh, engulf myself in a culture for a long period of time. It's an eight week program in Brazil, and basically what I'll be doing is working for a company in Chicago that has invested in different aspects of the real estate market in Brazil and I'll be talking to the project managers, collecting data, and providing a report for that company in Chicago. One, one of the main factors, and I think, I think that helped out with this program, is going to a liberal arts college. Uh, I've had the opportunity to take classes that, if I went to a business school, maybe I wouldn't be able to take. If, if you're taking business classes and you're focusing on business alone, you're not getting the opportunity to really expand your horizons. And I think that's something employers are looking for, someone who's experienced the world or is willing to experience the world. And I think that with this, this opportunity, I, it, it'll definitely set me apart. Lisa Philippone has run on the William Smith Cross Country Team since her first year at HWS and credits the lessons learned on the trail for her determination and perseverance. This summer she will return to India to work on an organic farm and teach in a school for underprivileged children. So this is, this is a great program and, and, and I think one that's very unique to our school. It funds students and gives them the opportunity to either return to a place they've been abroad or um, go to a new place if they haven't been able to go abroad. Well, I originally went abroad to India last semester and did an independent research project on how Hindus reconcile their beliefs with the purifying aspects of water when it is either scarce, like in the Rajasthani desert, or polluted, um, like in the, the Ganges River that we visited as well. This summer I will be expanding my research that I did last semester into an honors project as well as interning on a farm that I stayed in, in the Rajasthani desert. I am very grateful for this opportunity. Um, without Mr. Salisbury, I would not be able to return to India this summer. An accomplished sailor and woodworking enthusiast, Ben Ahern understands the importance of incorporating sustainable design into his architecture. After spending a semester abroad in Copenhagen, Ben will return to Denmark this summer to work with one of the world's most forward-thinking architecture firms. I just feel incredibly lucky that we have such generous donors like Charles Salisbury to provide this opportunity. I'm trying to incorporate sustainable design into my work to reduce the built environment's impact on the planet. You don't build buildings for architects, you build buildings for regular people. And so it's really important to have a, a broad liberal arts education. The place I'm working for Force 4 Architects from Denmark, a very cutting edge 
of sustainability and humanitarian design. In the internship, you know, I'm, I'm going to be helping them with their drafting, renderings, model making, and they've also said that I might do some research. So go to sites and see what's used and, and where the building would best be located. It's going to be great. I'm John T.S. Heavey. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next week for another edition of Meet the Campus.